this black and white stuffed cat became his like little baby. Theo was a quarantine baby and we were both very codependent. The stuffed animals was actually my mom's idea. And my mom gave me a little bag of like three stuffed cats and was like, it'll be like he's in a litter. And I was like, that's ridiculous. My mom was right. It was like his exact size. So he mostly wrestled with it, but he could tell he would try to pick it up and like carry it with him. Then as he got bigger, he would cuddle with it more. He still loves the baby. I always felt horrible seeing how happy he got with his stuffed animal and that he didn't have another cat. He's so upset. I went to the Austin Animal Center. God. He was so fascinated by her. He was so interested in how fast she was jumping off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> very quickly, they were already fine with each other. And then one morning, they were in the same bed and he was like already cuddled up with her. And he was like treating her in place of said stuffed cat. He was already licking her head and had her like in his cat bed and his cat tree. Hello, babies. And even when I got a new cat tree, they were sharing the old one before I like showed them that they had separate ones that they could go into now. What are you guys doing? So I think Zelda made him feel like he had a little family. One doesn't go without the other. And it's funny because that stuffed cat he'll still like play with and she'll play with it too. So it's still a family member. <laughs> Theo and Zelda, I truly think of as my children. The sun rises and sets with my two cats, truly.